this always going to be an extremely hard game to win? I mean, it was going to be tough, but uh, I think the way that, you know, I personally started in the first half, turned the ball over. Um, we, we just didn't give ourselves any kind of momentum early. Obviously, we fought back, got a lead in, uh, early in the fourth and gave ourselves a chance, but you got to assume that they were hungry to, to come out knowing James is back. And uh, yeah, it was just a, a rough night to start, fought our way back, and they obviously made some plays on the stretch. So just got to uh, got to start off better next you time. You started turning it around in the second half, but why do you think you had that start? Uh, I don't know. Um, you try not to think about you know the, the flight home and getting back to the bay after a long road trip, but uh, just one of those things where I think I was you know speeding up a little too too, too much on the offensive end, uh, and we know the recipe against this team. Obviously, they're going to shoot a lot of threes. They're going to make some tough shots, but if you turn the basketball over and if you foul, which we did all that in the first half, then uh, that plays right into their hands. So just. Uh, a lack of focus on the game plan. Uh, no matter if we make or miss shots, you got to control those other two areas. What do you think about the shot selection late in the game? Uh, I just, I actually just watched the film. Uh, I made two of the worst plays of, of the season on those two possessions. Uh, I got a steal, and KD's wide open for a dunk. I don't, I throw it to Clay with contested three, and then the same thing the play before that. Uh, KD was coming off a pick and roll, and he was butt naked open at the top of the key, and I made a read too soon, so. Um, kind of just one of those nights where I, I personally didn't have you know the, the right vision on the floor, so uh, I got to take that responsibility for that one because it's pretty pretty bad. What about some of the kind of more careless turnovers? There was that one in the first half, about 15 feet out. Kinda... Oh, I already talked about all the turnovers. I'm not going to talk about specific ones. How much better is this Rockets team than what we saw from a year ago? I mean, how much did adding Chris change this team? I mean, they play the same way, but Chris gives them another ball handler to take a little bit of pressure off James throughout the course of the game. But the recipe to, against them is the exact same. Like I said, you got you can't turn the ball over. You got to have good possession so you can set your defense up and and then don't foul. Um, we've done that, I think, once against them uh, when we got a win. So uh, obviously James is out, but we know the recipe and we got to stick to it and, uh, no matter what additions they made this year. Hey Seth, when you're taking up a long view of things, like to what degree is it important or not of trying to have home court? It's extremely important. Um, obviously this this game gives them the tiebreaker, but we hopefully won't be in that position down the stretch of the season. So we'll uh, we'll continue to, to focus on building momentum towards the playoffs and continue to win games and, and give ourselves home court advantage throughout, which uh, you know, which is, is important to us and uh, we're still in control of that, so uh, not, no panic on that on that front. You guys, I know you guys respect all opponents, but does this year feel a little different as far as like, seem like you guys are really gonna have a legitimate uh, person that uh, opponent that can possibly do some damage in the playoffs? Do I think like that? I mean, yeah, we have we have ultimate confidence, and we know, like I said, what the. Uh, recipe for success against you know whatever team it is, um, and we've done a great job of executing when we get in those positions down the stretch in the playoffs. So um, you know if it's if it's Houston down you know second or probably in the, in the conference finals, and we'll be ready for that. But uh, yeah, we understand how potent they are offensively. The things that they're trying to do defensively is to try to get us out of our game, but. At the end of the day, if we play our game and play it the right way, unlike tonight, we, we uh, feel like we, we can be ourselves and, and, and win against anybody.